do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students let us solve question number 18 of 2014 physics advanced paper code 8 so let us start with question number 18 Hello students. Solve this question number eighteen. Now the question is the rocket is moving in a gravity-free space. This rocket is moving in a gravity-free space with a constant acceleration of two meter per second square. This is the rocket which is moving with two meter per second square along positive x direction. So along this direction. The length of the chamber inside the rocket is four meter. This is the length of the chamber inside the rocket, which is four meter. A ball is thrown from the left end of the chamber in positive x direction. This is the left end. This is the ball which is thrown with a speed of 0.3 meter per second in this positive x direction relative to the rocket. So this is the relative velocity of the ball with respect to the rocket this is not the velocity of the ball with respect to ground at the same time another ball is thrown in the negative x direction means opposite to this this is thrown with uh, a speed of 0.2 meter per second from right and relative to the rocket this is also the relative velocity of the ball with respect to the rocket the time in seconds when the two balls hit each other is this moves towards right this moves towards left and when they will be meet or collide or hit that uh, time you have to find so we'll solve this first by a uh, relative velocity frame uh, that means uh, in terms of relative velocity we'll find uh, this ball in the left hand is moving towards right with uh, 0.3 meter per second and this one is moving with 0.2 meter per second now if i find the relative velocity supposing that i will keep this constant keep this constant and uh, because both are in the same accelerating frame so if i see the relative velocity of this block with respect to this or uh, with respect to this this is at rest and this is moving towards this with a velocity of if this is a, a and this is b then velocity of a with respect to b is the relative velocity of a with respect to b because b will fixed if you fix this then uh, with what velocity the a is approaching a when this is fixed so if we fix this point b or the ball b then uh, the speed with which a is approaching b when it is at rest will be the relative velocity so velocity of a with respect to b is uh, velocity of a minus velocity of b this is a vector quantity velocity of a is uh, 0.3 minus velocity of b is uh, minus uh, 0.2 because it towards left so this becomes 0.5 meter per second so if uh, that means this situation is exactly this is at rest and this is moving with this the situation is this is moving with uh, 0.5 and this object is at rest then uh, how much time it will take to hit this this distance is uh, 4 and the velocity is this so this is the relative velocity this is the relative velocity is the relative displacement is 4 meter and uh, velocity relative is uh, 0.5 meter per second so how much time it will take to reach this point that is the question so now the time it will take is uh, because uh, time will be s relative relative displacement divided by the relative velocity 
this is the formula it is and therefore t will be s relative is uh, 4 meter divided by this is uh, 0 0.5 meter per second so meter will cancel this must in second so this is half so it will be 8 second one answer is that it is 8 second next we will take another uh, or a method if I use uh, another method alternate method then uh, this is moving with uh, 0 0.3 and this is moving with uh, 0 0.2 the distance of separation is 4 meter this whole chamber is moving uh, towards right this rocket is moving towards right with uh, 2 meter per second square so if i solve this question by inertial frame of reference or accelerating frame of reference if i solve this by in the frame of the rocket in frame of a rocket in the frame of rocket that means the rocket is uh, accelerating so this is the accelerating frame non inertial frame so in non inertial frame we have to use the pseudo force if I use the pseudo force for each of them then one pseudo force will act because the rocket is moving towards a positive direction pseudo force will act on this object towards left with the acceleration of 2 meter per second square this also will have experience of acceleration of 2 meter per second square so this is the acceleration that will act in uh, the frame of uh, rocket and therefore uh, this is the velocity i'll consider as initial velocity this is the acceleration which is retarding this this is the velocity and this is the accelerating this so here it will the speed of this object will increase and here the speed will decrease and finally it will return now in this situation if i think of the if this is thrown how far it will go because uh, the acceleration is 2 meter per second square and the velocity is very very small so it will hardly go up it will go to a very small height and then return back so its situation will be something like that its situation will be something like that it will go up to a very small height then return back but this will continue to move towards this so first of all see that how much high it will uh, rise what is the maximum height and the maximum height is uh, given by for this ball a and this is suppose b for uh, ball a the maximum height h maximum it will go up is u square by 2g formula will use u is 0 0.3 by 2 into 10 this is uh, 9 to 4.5 by 1000 this is 9 by 2 4.5 divided by 1000 so 4.5 divided by 1000 it is a uh, u square by 2g so it is uh, 0. Point 0. 0.0045 because this one 10 will you get one zero from here one zero from here one zero from here so there are three zeros one two three and this is three three is a nine by two is four point five divided by thousand so it is a point zero zero four five so this up to this height will go but if you see the distance of the chamber this distance is very large compared to this height so if so I will write uh, g is uh, here 2, it is not 10. So here it is, uh, g is given here as 2 because this is acting like acceleration due to gravity in this case. So it is 2, not 10. So 10, so it is given 2. So because I have multiplied uh, 10 here, so I have to multiply 5. 
so that it will become 2 so to this I multiply 5 to this 5 so how much are getting we are getting 0 0.0045 into 5 so it is uh, 22 so this one this much meter so this ball actually is uh, moving uh, up to a distance before it uh, turns back it distance is uh, 0 0.0225 meter but the thing is that uh, as compared to the distance this distance this is very very insignificant so we neglecting that we assume that this will come and hit so we'll just directly find uh, how much uh, time it will take to reach here okay so what is the uh, time this will take to reach here that i will find for ball b for ball b uh, we'll use the equation the distance it has to travel is s because we are neglecting this distance s is uh, you can uh, take into consider this distance then uh, the ball has to cover a little less than that distance but that is more uh, complicated and will take more time so s is uh, ut plus half a t square in the frame of the rocket because the acceleration acting is 2 here and uh, this is uh, 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 into t plus half of a is 2 into t square this is uh, 4 this is the displacement which is 4 all are uh, negative or you can say all are positive this direction is negative i'll put minus here minus here minus here that becomes plus so this is plus so this goes uh, this becomes 1 t square plus t so this is t square plus 0 0.2 t minus 4 is 0 we have to solve this to get the value of time the ball will take to reach this or hit this block uh, block ball so this uh, we have to solve by quadratic equation ax square plus bx uh, plus c equals to 0 the roots are uh, minus b minus b is this one minus b plus minus b square minus 4 a c is 4 so it is 4 4 ac minus b plus minus b square minus 4 ac upon 2a minus b plus minus b square minus 4 is b on the root upon 2a so if you solve that what you get this is uh, minus 0 0.2 plus minus 0 0.2 square is 4 4 divided by 100 so it is 0 0.04 plus 16 root divided by 2 so this is minus 0 0.1 plus minus this is 16.04 divided by 2 if I if you solve this 16.04 uh, it will be approximately 4 it will be approximately because this is uh, four, 16 point something this is nearly 4 so this is uh, 0 0.4 divided by so 4 divided by 2 so this is approximately 2 so 2 plus minus 2 plus minus this is 0 0.1 this is minus so this implies it will be if i take minus this will become minus minus is not possible you have to take the plus sign so it is 2 minus 0 0.1 so time equals to this which is 1.9 so answer is 1.9 because you would write in terms of uh, approximation in approximation the time it will take is 2 seconds. So we have uh, two answers to this question. First of all that uh, the time this ball will take to hit uh, or this ball will uh, collide each other is uh, 2 seconds or 8 seconds. This is the answer to this question. 8 seconds or 2 seconds. Okay? Thank you.